first one is Scarlet Deer Inn. The characters in the game are all embroidered and they're animated based off of that. I watched a video and it was just the characters being embroidered by a, uh, by a sewing machine. I thought, what the hell are they doing? And that's how they did the animation for them. This is like a mom and pop shop style game. They, it's a husband and wife combination and they've done as much of this as they can. Um, the drawing, the animation, storytelling, programming, music, and even the publishing. So for their sake, I hope this does well. And let's check it out. Work in progress. The audio, visuals, and gameplay mechanics presented in this demo are subject to change. And whenever you're playing a demo or whenever you're playing a game that's not a finished product, always bear that in mind and try to be a little charitable. And if, uh, if they're asking you for feedback, if you find a bug, report it, help them out. Because sometimes if you have a very unique way of playing games, and sometimes I do, cause I do a lot of like, Ooh, I wonder what's over here and I'll find a bug and, uh, just let them know. A lot of times it doesn't really take you much time to do, so it's worthwhile. Ooh. Hang on a second. How's that? Just want to raise that a little bit. Now, from what I understand, as far as the music goes, is the music is also done by them. And it's using traditional instruments. Uh, yeah, so instruments I am not entirely familiar with. But let's check it out. I don't know what that word is. Hmm. So interact. Oh, this is for a, oh shoot. This is for an Xbox controller. Uh, okay. So X would be my square. A would be my X. I really wish Nintendo, Sony, and Microsoft would get together and be like, okay, guys, we're going to sit down. We're going to agree on one standard. Well, why is the resolution so high? Okay. Well, I can't choose anything in here anyway. Let's just get right into the game. English or I'm assuming that's Czech, but we don't speak Czech. So. Is this a cutscene or can I do something? Oh. Let's talk to this guy. Sniff. What's the matter with you, Jimmy? Sniff. He's upset. Well, she... Bridget took Horace from me again. Is that a toy? Sniff. And where is he? Sniff. Up there. Wait, I will save him. Up where? Huh? I have to save Horace. Okay. Well, oh. Oh, Horace. <laughs> Horace is the horse. A horse named Horace. It's a little on the nose. Here you are, Horace. Um, what? Okay. Here you go. He's all right, but you have to look after him more. Thank you, mom. Oh, okay. That's her son. <laughs> all right. I didn't know that. I thought it was a younger brother. Sniff. Right, he's playing with the horse. All right. So her name is Elise. Are you feeling better, Madam Elise? I am. I will go visit Madam Dorothy to see if she's done with the tunic for Bridget. Oh, be sure to bring her a bottle from the cellar. Bottle of what? 
You know she's partial to that. Oh, alcohol. <laughs> hmm. Thank you so much for helping me with the inn. Okay, so... Alright. No problem, Madame Elise. So she's the owner of the inn? Okay, I didn't get... I didn't have an indication that I could go in that door. Oh, and now we're running. Okay. No bottles here. Only some ingredients for the new kitchen. All kinds of things, but no wine or mead. I should finally remember where things are. Well... Oh, there's more. Here's the good stuff. Got some excellent stuff here. But perhaps I could bring some... Plonk? Instead? What's Plonk? The neighbor won't tell the difference anyway. Yeah, give her that cheap crap. <sighs> Mead or wine? Hmm. Let's bring some wine. This wine will be good enough for her. You got a little bit of a, fr a flooding problem in your cellar there, dear. And how far is it? Oh, wait, that was Lady that was speaking. I don't know. I've never been the... I see, I see. Oh, that must be her daughter. And how big is an elephant? The parson showed me a picture of an elephant and told me it's bigger than a horse. Well, but... How big is an elephant's horseshoe? I don't even know what an elephant is. I see, I see. And how many pirates have you killed at sea? My dear girl, I've never even seen a... I see, I see. And how sharp is your sword? <laughs> okay, so she must be the inquisitive one. Well, that's no toy for a... Let me try. Bridget! Enough! Don't bother our guests. Oh, I don't mind. She's just a tad curious. Don't bother our guests all the time. I'm not bothering anyone, Mom. That's right, you tell her. Can we talk to Patron? Do you enjoy your meal? It is excellent. Mom! Where are you going? Can I come with you? Yeah, this is... <laughs> this is just like a kid. Stay at home. I just have to fetch something from the neighbor. Yay! What? Why is she happy that she's not coming with me? Or is she... Oh, okay. Maybe she wants the thing from the neighbor. You're going for my present, aren't you? Present? Didn't I say something about cleaning the tables? Shut up and get back to work. I'm going already. Hmm. So this is the Scarlet Deerhead. Yeah. <laughs> Anytime this character runs, I'm like, this looks like a Studio Ghibli movie. Well, honk honk to you too, sir. Where's the... Oh. I don't have t the time to go down to the river. Okay, well, that's where the river is. What do our other controls do? Oh, we can... <laughs> we can pet the ducks. Are the geese ducks? No, these are geese. Right? I don't know. I have to visit the neighbor first, don't I? Oh, to see if she's done with a tunic for Bridget. Oh, she is, so she is going to her. see her. Where? Is it here? Okay. That uh, must be her. Hello, lady. Hello. 
Hello, Elise. I just wanted to ask if you're done with the tunic for Bridget. I was hoping she could bring it to the fair. Oh, there's a fair coming up. Oh, goodness, of course. I'm just finishing it now. It's a very nice embroidery. Although it was very difficult. So you need to give me more money. <laughs> and my fingers aren't what they used to be anymore. I brought you a small gift at least. I'm so, uh, here's a small gift. Hmm. The sly slug. Is that wine? <laughs> you know, my son, he's a doctor. In the town. He always sends me only the best wine. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're sending her shit. Nah. But it's kind of you. Someone will surely make some use of that wine. I'll think of something. Use it for cooking. Stop being a bitch. Anyway, where were we? Did you say the tunic would be ready soon? I sure did. Just the last couple of stitches, and you can take it with you. And I'm gonna screw up the last couple of stitches because you brought me some cheap-ass shit wine. <laughs> I was just thinking, before I finish, would you be so kind and help me carry those sheaves over to the stable? You see, Frank, a really nice lad, gave them to me, but he just left them over there, the scoundrel. I thought he was a nice guy. How could I, a poor old woman, manage to bring them to the stable all by myself? You see, Frank is really nice, but he's not the brightest. So you just call this guy a nice guy, and then a scoundrel, and now you're calling him dumb. Wow. I'm getting the idea that this neighbor lady is... Well, you know what? I'm kind of feeling glad I didn't give her the good stuff. Would you be so kind? I wonder about what you say about me when I'm not here. Gladly. Uh, okay, guessing this is the stable. Oh, moo cows. I, uh, I don't, I have to wonder, and this is, I'm not saying this uh, as a criticism, but what on earth would possess you to embroider your characters? Who, I mean, because I don't know if I've ever seen anything like that. I don't know if I've ever seen anybody that's thought to do that. I mean, I've seen um, hand-drawn stuff. I mean, Constance comes to mind. That was a, a demo I played a couple, a few weeks ago now where it was hand-drawn, but nothing where the characters were embroidered. I've never seen anything like that before. Done. The hay is put away. Very kind of you. Thank you. Is the tunic ready yet? Of course it is. Just the last couple of stitches. Bridget will be the most beautiful young lady at the fair in the whole town. You have to show her off to my son when you're there. Your son, who's a doctor? I'm assuming there's a bit of an age gap there. He's a doctor, you know. And he's got his own apothecary. In the town. <laughs> This really is a nice embroidery. Maybe she's not all there. Maybe she's just, uh, like she's starting to fade. A bit difficult, but very nice. Certainly worth the effort. Yeah, she's starting to repeat herself. It just came to me, Elise. Oh, no. I can't make you do that. Ugh. What is it now? Well, if you insist, I mean, just before I finish the embroidery, lady, it sounds like you're going to take all day to finish the embroidery just so I can do chores around your house. Could you go see Charles the beekeeper? Oh my God, lady. 
He's supposed to be sending me, he's supposed to send me some meat. Meat from a beekeeper? Oh, well. You really are very kind. And patient, too. Oh, one more thing. Since you're going to the village anyway, oh, for fuck's sakes, go see Otto the winemaker. His wife Lucy is supposed to be send, is supposed to send me something as well. Oh, Otto. He makes really good wine, he does. Perhaps he could give you some advice. Ho 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 ho, you. We do all have to help one another, after all. I, I thought that was a, a jab. Oh, maybe he can give you some advice on what sort of wine to stock and not the sly slug. Can we go? Can I go now? Oh my god, lady. Oh, I almost forgot. Bring them these cakes. Anna gave them to me. They will know. One more thing. Oh. <laughs> the middle piece is for Otto, the winemaker. He hates those crunchy corners. It's all the same to Charles, the beekeeper, so he won't mind the burnt crust. The sooner you go, the sooner you'll be back. If you will let me leave, I will get on with my chores while you do a couple of stitches, lady. I'm finishing the last couple of stitches. The tunic will be ready before you return. It better be. Now, yeah, mm, such a nice embroidery. Yeah, I'm guessing that's the why. I, I'm guessing this is in the story. This is why she's repeating. Like she's repeating herself and asking all these chores just to to demonstrate that. Like this is not this is not bad storytelling. This is just this is the character. This is the old lady, and she's kind of a pain in the ass all right so the river was to the left so i'm guessing the town is this way who's this hi elise hi hannah oh we're done talking <laughs> what's in the store i have no business there well i don't know where there is what is it looks like a big Looks like a big oven. Yeah. Either that's a forge or a big oven for cooking stuff. Oh, someone's calling me. Elise! What's the matter? Hello, Elise. Hi, Mark. What do you need? Ellipsis. I just... I wanted to thank you again for all the food for our dad. Not at all. There's always something in the kitchen. Anything else? Well, I, I just... If you want help with anything, just say the word. Oh, he likes her. Thank you, that's nice. But that's no reason to yell all over the village. <laughs> it's true. Mm. Oh, now he's, now he feels stupid. Okay. Those kids look like they're up to no good. Well, can we go into the town? Yeah. Okay. Who are you? Hello, Mary. Hello, Elise. That's it. Do you need something? Um, I guess not. What's in here? I don't have time for that. <laughs> Hello, Father. God bless you, Elise. <laughs> Father, whatever are you teaching my Bridget? Now let's, let's be nice. It's so nice around here. Quite. Oh, that's it. Well, what's the other dialogue option? Father, whatever are you teaching my Bridget? What do you mean? Well, she keeps asking our guests about all kinds of strange things. What kind of strange things? Well, 
A while ago, when I was leaving, she kept bothering Ulrich, who delivers food goods to the castle. She asks him about some strange animals, faraway lands and whatnot. My word, the poor Ulrich has never gone farther than the town in his life. And a stone's throw away from the castle. Exactly. She's seen some drawings of exotic things in my books. I see. Well, I hope she won't get all confused because of that. Don't you worry about her, Elise. She is cunning. She most certainly is. Okay. We don't have any sort of map or anything, do we? Oh, we do. Okay. Uh, it's not marked in any way. All right. Hello. Hmm. How are you? Hmm. Look, you need something. I'm busy. Oh, who's this? Is your wife here? What for? I'm bringing her a cake from Madame Dorothy. I think that's what we're supposed to do. Why? What does the hag want from her now? She's bothered us enough as it is. Oh, okay, good. So it's not just me. <laughs> I don't know where she's raving at, or where she's raving at and roving at now. Sorry. And I don't even care. It's just me and my barrel. She visits the parson all the time, blathering about some nonsense. If she's not at the cemetery, then I've got no idea. And leave me alone. I don't have a whole day for you. Wow. You're kind of an asshole. <laughs> well, thank you. Hmm. Hey. What are you looking up for over there? I'm because I'm exploring, dude. Ah, oh, okay. So that way's the meadow. Let's get it. Where are we? Oh, wait. Okay. So there was no cemetery over here, was there? So I'm thinking church cemetery. But I didn't see anybody here other than that dude. Oh, what? Oh, I miss you, my love. Oh, we can actually... Henry... Catherine the Seamstress. Sorry, words are hard. Her husband, presumably. Oliver. Hmm. Oh, there's even more. Maybe she's... No. Okay. So... I don't know where she is. She's not at the cemetery. And you are... Mary? Yeah. Okay. I have to find Lucy first. I can't get to Charles, because the beekeeper, just yet because of the blocked bridge. So, who's Lucy and where's Lucy? We went through there. Already talked to that dude. Okay, so I can't go in here because he gets upset. Uh huh. Been there. Yeah, no. This is there. I kind of stuck. Did I miss something? <laughs> Can't go in there. Oh, maybe, maybe this dude will know. Maybe he'll have some information. Ah, here we go. Do you happen to know where Lucy is? 
May I know why you're looking for her? I'm supposed to fetch something. Uh, I'm supposed to fetch something for Madame Dorothy from her, but she's not at home. And her husband wasn't of much help. I see. Otto and Lucy have it uh, tough right now. And he's not coping with it well. He has been drinking too much as of late, for my taste. Hmm. Anyway, if Lucy's not at home, she'll be in the birch grove near the forest. The birch grove? Well, you know, there used to be a pagan shrine in the olden days there. And she goes there to ask the woodland spirits for help. At least, that is what she tells me. I tried to explain it as blasphemy, but she would have none of it. She says that if God existed, he would not allow such suffering. Ooh. Enough talk about such things. Where can I find the grove? I'm still rather new to the area. Oh, okay. A path goes there, just to the left around the cemetery wall. You cannot miss it. Thank you, Father. God bless you, Elise. A cemetery wall. Wait. Oh, must be on the other side. Okay. Pet the sheep. <laughs> Those are birch trees. And she does not look happy. Is she making an offering? Hmm. I'm glad I could find you. Madam Dorothy sends me. I have some cake for your husband. And I hear you have something for her. That's true. I want her to embroider something nice on a shirt for Georgie. For the fair in the town. But he is... Georgie is all right. I know it. Hmm. But we have to go back to our place. I don't have the shirt on me. Wait. How did you find me here anyway? Nobody comes here except for me. My husband doesn't know about this place either, uh, I hope. Well, he wasn't of much help, honestly. Father John told me. I see. Well, he's the only one I can confide everything to. I see. Oh well, let's head back to the village. Here's the shirt for Madame Dorothy. And didn't you say... Uh, and didn't you say she sent a cake for my husband? Yes, I almost forgot. Oh, crap. Oh. Middle one, right? Because I think it was the beekeeper that didn't mind the crunchy piece. Yeah. She says your husband hates the crunchy crust. He hates everything lately. Aw. Oh. But please tell her he says thanks. All right, take care, Lucy. You too, Elise. <laughs> you can't just, like, break into people's houses in this game. They always stop you like, hey, what are you doing? You got any new dialogue options, or are you still just a jerk? Yeah, you're still just a jerk. I feel like I'm going to need to make notes if I play this game. Because there's there's no... Uh... Ah, okay. So there's no quest options or journal or anything like that, is there? I don't think. Oops. Did not mean to do that. So yeah, I'm going to have to start making notes. Oh, this is new. 
What are you doing? Hello. How did you manage to get that mangy beast off the bridge? Don't even ask. I had to sweep the water away of every puddle on the road. He got stuck here now, but it's still better than blocking the bridge. I'll show him. Uh, if we ever get home. <laughs> what an ass. <laughs> Good thing you're pretty. <laughs> I wonder what that thing is. Who are you? Hello. Hello, Elise. Okay. Anything here? Hello, nippers. We are no nippers. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you doing here? We're catching slugs. Yeah! <laughs> There's so much of them after the rain. And we have to hurry before the geese get them all. Yeah! That's <laughs> not all that other kid says. <laughs> there are more slugs here by the water? Yeah! And what do you need them for? That's a secret. Yeah. Well, I mean, we found the beekeeper. These backgrounds are really nice. I wish there was some music. I really wish there was some music right now because it would just kind of pull everything together for me. Music is such an important part of games, to me anyway. Like, uh, music can take a, an average game and elevate it to a good or great game, and it can take a, a great game and just make it like a 10 out of 10, in, in my book, anyway. I can't just enter his house when he's not here. Oh, I guess he's not there. Hello? I guess he's not here. But there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Someone has to be home. You could knock on the door. Come and knock on our door. Do, do knock on the door? Wait. It sounds like someone's in the cellar. Is, is knocking on the door not an option? Confused. A lot of mead. Nothing but mead. Wonder if his is truly better. Hmm? Oh, are we sealed in? Hello? Uh-oh. I'm not in control anymore. What is that? Ice? Oh, it is. <laughs> A lot of ice. And creepy music. That's getting louder. Oh, shit. <gasps> My god. Oh no! I have to get out of here. Meat from the beekeeper. Huh. I can't control anything still. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> Holy cow. That went from like, all right, this is kind of lighthearted, you know, walking around town to all of a sudden murder mystery. 
Oh, wait a second. Okay, hang on a second. Let me let me piece this together. Lucy was talking about Georgie, and then Elise was saying, but you know something's wrong. Some, hinting that there was something up with him. Maybe he was either missing. Well, I guess missing, because he wouldn't have found his body. I wonder if that body that was on the table was Georgie. And this beekeeper is a cannibal. Or he's a serial killer. And he's chopping up the bodies for meat. Holy crap, this suddenly just got really, really dark. was a ladder. Is there anything worth exploring here? No. Nice. Oh, that's handy. Locked. Whoa! Oh, the ladder collapsed on us. I guess we're not going back that way. Holy cow. Oh, we can jump. To... There we go. Oh, okay. I did not know I could do that. This... That looks unstable. I wonder if that's my way out of here. Yep. Well, she's a... Uh, Elise is a tough cookie, though. I mean, she's... Falling down ladders, and not even a scratch. Could you imagine? I'm just thinking like how these characters are embroidered. Could you imagine having to um, do like scuffed up clothing and torn clothing and blood and all that stuff? How many more figures you'd have to embroider? <sighs> our way out of here. That's where we came from. Can I do anything here? I feel like there's, there's a wall. There's a stone wall up there with a gate that you can barely see. Shoot, what's... Oh. It's funny. I asked for music, and like a couple minutes later, I got music. Who are you? You got nothing to say. Another... Whoa. Only have to jump through once that time. Anything this way. No. Nope. Okay. So, I can now use the circle or the B button to, like, whack things. There's a lever. And that is going to cause that to spin. Why isn't that sticking? Hmm. Okay, so I had to do both of them at the same time. Okay. How far down does this go? Holy crap. Can I light this? Oh, okay, I have to hold it. Okay. What is that? 
another torch. There's a lever on that side. Woo! Shit! <laughs> oh, okay. So that's where we come when we die. Good to know. Also good to know that spikes are bad. Oh, we broke it. Damn it. You gotta watch yourself with the edges of those because you'll just slide right off like I just did. I'm wondering what she's thinking though. It would be kind of helpful to just have some internal dialogue going on. just because I'm playing this game as somebody who's not familiar with this world. And it would be it would be helpful to have her fill in some of the blanks. Although I have a feeling we're coming close to the end of the demo. Oh. Did I hear a heartbeat? What's down here? Yeah, there is a heartbeat. It's getting louder. Oh, shit. Can I use it? Oh, shit. I don't think I'm supposed to use it. confused. Okay, so we can't go that way. Take this down. Is that what that heartbeat means? Is, uh, like, my torch is running out? Okay, so that, I'm assuming that's what that means. So introduce us to that mechanic now. What is that? What did we just pick up? Oh shit. do anything else here. And every time I come into this area, my torch starts to die really quickly. Am I trapped? Oh, no. Oh. Oh. get to the end of this because I feel like it's coming soon but it just suddenly dropped that mechanic on me of oh you have to keep your torch ignited which is frustrating <laughs> oh no oh, no oh, oh. okay and then 
Bash. No. Oh, no. Jump. Don't need to go here again, do I? No. Okay. Ah. Fuck. Oh, I really want to go further, but I also have another game I have to play. I'm going to have to come back to this one. It's just suddenly started getting so, 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 so interesting that I hate to put it down. But I also want to play Legend of Castile. All right. I'll come back to this. I, that came out of nowhere. That came out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it's just... Oh, dead body. Guy with a sword coming at you. Oof.
mama dičko przez pole a lołki Nie wejdzie na mnie, bieda nam Zaplatana z osud, co w sedeniu żołki A miela ma dičko, prosi mnie piękna Jsem jenom já chtěl za umyslí rád. 